Hi everybody, Lauren here from Arrogance of Arizona. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the difference between shooting this way or this way, and why it's so important to be shooting in this direction rather than cant it over like that, um, and, and what kind of a difference that makes. So I'm gonna show you guys out at 50 yards the difference that it's going to make and the tools that I use to ensure that my gun is always perfectly upright and never canted over. So this is really important in almost all circumstances. It's important in target shooting because obviously you've sighted your rifle in in an upright position. It's important in a hunting circumstance because if you're out in the field and you're accidentally holding your gun over, then that might also influence your shot. If you're just out plinking, that's also really important to ensure that you're gonna hit the right spot every single time. So without further ado, let's take some shots at 50 yards. Okay, so that shot was pretty close to the center. Not dead center, but pretty close to the center. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cant the gun 45 degrees, or somewhat, to the right-hand side. You can see we're way canted over, and I'm gonna aim at the exact same spot, and let's see what happens to my shot. Okay, so I'm aiming at the exact same shot. and I literally hit the target on the right-hand side. So that moved a considerable amount only at 50 yards with a 177. Now think if you're taking the shot any further out, uh, maybe 80 yards, 100 yards, or in any other caliber, that problem gets exponentially worse. So you never wanna cant the gun that much. Even if we just cant it a little bit, it's still gonna show your gun shooting way far to the right or to the left, depending on which way you cant it. So it's very important to keep your gun level at all times. Now for this video, I decided to use the MDT send it level right here. It's an electronic level and it's very sensitive. You can see it running here nicely with the colors. And if I get super sensitive to that, it goes very nicely to the middle. Whereas you can see this middle one here, it kind of shows me that I'm always in the center. Um, so I prefer using this electronic version over this analog version. Sometimes the rules of a competition dictate that you have to use an analog version. Um, so just be sure to check it out before you purchase one for competition. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully you found a tip or two here that will help you improve on your accuracy in the future and hit the like and subscribe button down below. I'll see you on the next one.